Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part 11 of the Pro Tools First Pro course. In this part, I'm gonna show you how to set up plugins on your tracks. We're in the mixing stage now. You can be able to put plugins on your tracks to make your audio and MIDI sound the best that it can be. So firstly, what are plugins? A plugin is, in terms of audio, is a piece of software that you can apply to your audio tracks or your instrument tracks in your DAW, in this case, Pro Tools First, to add various effects to them, like EQ, compression, reverb, things like that. There are other plugins that are standalone instrument, digital instruments that you can add to your instrument tracks and will let you play them with a MIDI device. There are other plugins just used for analytical purposes. There are all sorts of plugins. In Pro Tools First, it comes with about 20, 25 or so plugins built in. You can't add any, um, you can't install third party ones like you can with more with uh, paid doors, but the ones that it includes are more than enough to get you started. So here we are in Pro Tools first. Um, if you saw the previous part, part 10, you'll see that we made this, this simple uh, tune in uh, using MIDI and we inserted a plugin on each track already, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, so when you create a track, whether that's an audio track, an instrument track, um, it, you're going to have a bunch of inserts where you can add plugins to each track. So let's add a, a, a new audio track as well, just so you can see the full process. If you click Create, you'll see there you've got five slots, inserts A to E, where you can add plugins. If you click on this drop down up here, you can also show five more inserts to add plugins to. And we're going to also open up Sends which you'll, you'll see why in, in just a moment. But firstly, let's have a listen to this piano track. So as you can see on there, it's got an insert. If we took that insert off, that plugin, and get rid of it, you're not gonna hear anything at all because there's, there's no instrument um, for, the, for, the MIDI to, to the, for the MIDI to activate. So if we click on one of these inserts, and go down to multi-channel plugin because it's a stereo track. We want multi-channel, and you've got these different categories. So EQ, you've got your equalizers and dynamics, reverb. We go down to instrument and just pick the expand to. So this is an example of a plugin um, that's just a virtual instrument that would just let you play an instrument with a MIDI controller. So let's just pick a piano. And now you see we've got all these other inserts as well that we can add plugins to. So for example, after the, the piano, you don't want it before, you want it after, um, we can go down to reverb and click deverb. It's the one reverb that comes with Pro Tools first. And we can add some reverb to the piano. So let's hit play again now. And it sounds like he's in a giant hall all these different kinds of reverb. Let's make it a little bit more subtle, but a bit of a shorter tail. We can change the wet dry mix. Dry meaning the plugin isn't being used at all. None of the effect and wet meaning you're only hearing the uh, the effect of the plugin. You won't be hearing the just the dry original signal. Let's add a plugin to the kick track as well. Let's go for an EQ. Pick the EQ37 band and make our kick a little bit bassier. Not quite that bassy. There we go. In terms of how to actually make this stuff sound amazing together and, and mix it together and pick the right plugins, I'll go over that in, in loads and loads of videos on this channel. So once you've gone through this, this course, I do recommend if you want to learn how to mix music and mix audio, there'll be plenty of content that I can recommend you. But for now, we're just learning how to actually get the plugins loaded up onto a track. Now, say we wanted to get that reverb on the snare and hi-hat as well, because that would make sense if you want it to sound like it's been recorded in, in a certain room. You're gonna maybe want the same reverb on, on all of the tracks that you want reverb on. If we copy this across or create a new reverb, it's gonna start especially if you've got um, quite a, a not, not hugely powerful machine, it's going to start to slow things down. Um, if, you've got a, if you've got a good machine, it's, you don't have to worry about it at all. But at the same time, it's just kind of hassle and, and uh, copying it 
recreating the same one three times. It means if you want to make a change to the reverb, you've got to change it on every single one. So what we can do instead is add this rever reverb on a bus and send those three tracks to that bus. So if you create a new track again, Control Shift N or Command Shift N, go to AUX input stereo, create. Then we can call this auxiliary input reverb. Hold control or command and click the solo button so it's always on. And then move that reverb just by dragging it onto the bus instead. Then we need somewhere to send those tracks to. And it's going to be this, this auxiliary bus, but it's got no input. So click on no input, go down to bus, and let's just pick one to two. Now we want to send these three tracks to bus one to two. You don't put that on the inserts, you put that on the sends. So we've got sends A to E. We do have more sends, but we're not going to need 10 sends. Click on, on the first one, click on bus, and click on that. You'll see it's, uh, it's, it's a yellowy colour now because it's got something on it. Now what's happening, if we solo that and set set the, uh, the send at unity gain, because that's not going to be sending anything. If we set it at zero, that's going to be sending that piano uh, to the, the reverb bus. And you'll hear that the reverb's on there now, even though it's no longer on the track. If you click on that, you can send less or more. So no reverb. More reverb. And we might as well set the, yeah, that's set on, on, the, on the completely wet. But it is still sending the piano to your master, so you can still hear it. It's just also sending it to wherever you've set up on, on your sends. And then what we can do, we can do exactly the same thing on the others. But rather than uh, having to set that bus up again, we hold the Alt key and drag. It's going to copy rather than move. So that hi-hat, snare and piano, they're all going to be going to that reverb now, that same reverb. <laughs> And you can hear it's got the reverb on the hi-hat and snare. But then if we add that kick in, you'll hear that there's no reverb on the kick because we're not sending that one. Now that you know how to work with plugins, you're ready to start mixing. And in the next part, I'm going to be showing you some mixing basics. So you're going to be taking a vocal recording and mixing it to sound amazing. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that next part. And let me know in the comments section below, have you played around with the plugins that are included in Pro Tools first? Which one's your favorite? Which one are you finding most useful so far? And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part 12.